Welcome to East by West Farms. Here we grow what we eat and eat what we grow. Today, I'm going to set up the controller for the automatic chicken door. The reason we want to have this automatic control, it's much more convenient so that we don't have to get up or get out at a certain time to open the door. If it's raining outside, it will take care of itself. We have been uh, spending a lot of time um, in the farm due to the pandemic, but right now look like by four, probably we will not be able to spend as much time over here. We need to go back to our day job. So it will be nice to have this automatic door set up so that the chicken can still get in and out during the day uh, to enjoy outside and then they are protected at night. This is the control box for the chicken door. Right now, it's pretty done. It has this linear motor that move the door up and down. I have a battery that I just switch the polarity of the motor if I want to raise it, close it or, or uh, open it. So I want to make this smarter and that's what I have been working on is building this controller. The top over here is, you see two switches and that is to uh, set up whether in the automatic mode or in the manual mode. In the manual mode, I can use this switch to, go, to control the motor to go up or down. So I have an overwrite to the uh, automatic uh, program over here. When it's under the auto mode, I can switch the power to the controller over here. That's a uh, motor control. And then I have uh, Arduino Pro Mini uh, a microcontroller, and that will read the light sensor and also the proximity switch of the door, so I can know what the position of the door is and then decide I need to close the door or open the door. I also have uh, a Zigbee or XB um, wireless communication uh, module. I can read the, this information from my computer and I can also control the door from my computer. That's kind of a nice to have, okay, in, just in case if I need to manually control the door over wireless. The white box over here is the charge controller for the solar panel. This is going to be uh, connected to the solar panel that charges the battery. And then I use the battery to power the um, the controller, and which in turn controls the motor. The program set up now is that I can detect the light, so I know when the day, daylight break and uh, when I need to open the door. And then uh, at night, it will detect the, the sunset, and then it close the door automatically. The first thing I needed to do is set up the uh, solar panel. So I uh, put the solar panel on top of the hardware cloth. I already got the cable into the control box and then just need to screw that on. All I need is throw a few screw over there to hold the solar panel in place. I need a, a longer spool bit, drip, drip it. No, that's fine. You, you probably don't know which one I need. <laughs> All right, that was easy enough.
You wouldn't think that is that difficult. <laughs> yep. It's always the little things. Mm -hmm. I put everything, the solar panel on, I get the motor on, and the battery on. Right now, the microcontroller uh, need to wait for the sensor data, so I'm switching to at manual. You can see that for manual, I can close the door. Or I can open the door. That's operational, and then if I want to work on this, I can switch uh, the power on for the controller and put it in auto. Right now it doesn't work because it doesn't have a sensor yet. For the sensors, I have two types of sensors. One is uh, this light sensor, so basically it's a light sensitive resistor. I will put one on each side so that it will detect morning light and the evening light. And then I have basically this switch that is the proximity switch I will put on top of the door. Or in this case, I will put it over here so I can detect the position of the crossbar and underneath the door. For underneath the door, of course, it also helps to detect the chicken. So if a chicken is underneath it, when it push against the chicken, it will stop the door so we don't uh, squeeze the chicken. Even though the motor is moves very slowly and the chicken probably will walk away, but this is just an additional safety so that the chicken will hit this and then it will stop the door. I got the light sensor mounted on each side of the box and the two uh, proximity switch at, uh, to detect the position of the door when it's open. A proximity switch that detects when the door is closed. I need to do some cable management, but the unit is functional. Let me open the door because the chickens want to go go home to roost. Come on. What the? Okay. So it's engaging the, the switch. What I'm going to do next is switch the control unit on. So now the microcontroller starts collecting data from the sensors and uh, send out the data through the XP. And I'm going to monitor it for one or two days to know that when do I set the threshold for the light sensor to control when I will close the door and when I open the door. Next week, I come back and have everything um, working 
and that show you when it works, how, how it looks like. Well, it took me a while to get it really work well and I have to make a few changes, but now it's working perfectly and it's really nice to have uh, the automatic door opens, especially when it's cold that we don't want to get out of the warm house to open the door for the chicken. Now the door will open by itself and the chicken can come out and enjoy the sun, the daylight. In this video, I showed you how I set up the automatic chicken door. It's an Arduino-based control and it controls a linear motor. It will detect a light in the morning to open the door for the chicken and it will shut down after dark. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumb up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. If you have not done so, please hit the subscribe button to follow our journey with the East by West Farms.